Hi there and welcome back to another video. It's great to see all your smiling faces again. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Matthias and I'm an underwater cinematographer and filmmaker based in Zurich, Switzerland. Here on my channel we talk about filmmaking, underwater cinematography and also about some basic tips and tricks on how to get the best possible footage out of whatever equipment you have. Now it's time again today to talk about some underwater filmmaking and today we'll be looking at what's hidden inside of this box. The Paralens Underwater Action Camera Plus and why I think every single diver should have one of these on every single dive. Coming up! I've been longing for quite some time to go on a proper diving vacation again and when recently a friend of mine asked me whether I want to join him on a diving trip this spring I jumped at the opportunity and we went to a travel tourism diving fair that was held here in Zurich last week to check out some options for the vacation that we're planning early May this year. Now when I'm normally on an assignment I have my large underwater camera rig with me which consists of the GH5S in an OTCAM housing with some um, light and motion lights on it. And even though it is a compact system, it is still fairly big once you've attached everything that belongs to it. So I didn't really feel like I wanted to take all this extra gear with me on a fun trip but at the same time I definitely do want to get some shots and do want to take some, some footage of my friend and myself diving and just enjoying the underwater world on this trip. And then I remembered I don't have to take my big professional underwater rig with me, I can just take the Paralent underwater action camera and bring that on the trip with us. And that's how I came up with the idea for this video in which we'll talk about the five reasons why I think every single diver should own one of these and have them with them on every single dive. Action cameras have been around for filming underwater for quite some time and there's a lot of different options, a lot of different models that you can choose from to um, make sure that you capture those um, unique moments while being underwater. Now there is a couple of reasons though why I think that the Paralens is the one camera to go when we talk about underwater filming with compact action camera systems. Reason number one why I prefer the Paralens underwater camera over any other underwater action camera is simply because it is made just for filming underwater. It is a closed system so it's not like for example with a GoPro or other cameras where you need to have an extra housing that you wrap around your camera so you're able to take it underwater. This one is actually waterproof down to 250 meters. Let's be serious, not that we're going to be diving that deep but it's always nice to know that it is um, tested down to that pressure and you don't need any extra accessories just to make it capable of being underwater and performing underwater and that's a big plus for me because it means that you don't need to take anything else than this little thing and the charger and you're basically good to go. Now being a closed system and the camera that has been developed for underwater use it means that this camera is less likely to flood than any action camera that you're taking underwater where you need to have a housing attached to it. Um, of course this one does have some o-rings as well, they're right here at the back but because it is specifically made for underwater in my opinion this one is much less likely um, to be flooded than any of the other underwater 
action cameras that need external housings. Reason number two why I think that the Paralens underwater action camera is something that should be in the BCD pocket of every single diver is because of its compactness and its sturdiness. Now you might argue that a lot of underwater action cameras are similarly sized as the Paralens cameras and that's true but this camera is very, very sturdy on top of its compact size. All the material here on the outside is uh, aluminum and I think it's like airspace grade um, aluminum, so it's really high quality. And that basically means that this camera can withstand a lot of misuse. And you know how it works on a dive boat or in a dive center. You place your camera somewhere, you leave it there for just a split second. Someone puts a tank on it or knocks it over or anything like that. And if you do that with an action camera in a plastic housing, that might be the end of your filming day uh, because you just broke the housing or maybe even the camera. That won't happen with the Paralens underwater camera. That one really is incredibly sturdy um, and you can, you can basically bang it against tanks, against boats, against rocks, whatever you want. Not that I'm recommending this, but if it happens, it won't really affect the camera much and you'll be still able to go and to film. So that is definitely a big plus for me and another reason for this camera. Reason number three why I like the Paralens underwater camera so much is because of its ease of use. This camera is very, very simple in, um, in using it because it's basically only got one button or a lever that you can pull to activate the camera. It turns the camera on, it turns the camera off, you can switch through the menu with it, which takes a little time to get used to it, but once you get the uh, idea of it, it's actually very simple and you can start and stop the camera, uh, take photos, take videos, all just by pulling on that one lever um, and that's really cool. The cool thing also is that the camera will vibrate and will give you a, um, a feedback on whether it's turning on, whether it's turning off, whether it's recording or not. And that is very helpful because you don't uh, need to look at the tiny little display that's at the back of the camera here, but you can actually feel, uh, just by having it in your hand, you can feel and it will give you a feedback on what it's doing right now. I also find that the form factor of the camera is really beneficial. At the beginning I was a little bit, let's say, unsure about the, um, the form factor they've chosen for this camera, this tubish design, but I have to say, placing it in your hand works fantastic, it fits perfectly in your palm and it's actually really convenient to film with that camera this way. Um, yes, you do not have a screen on the camera, so you don't really see what you're filming, but honestly speaking, that hasn't really been much of an issue because after having used it for a little while, you kind of get the idea and you kind of uh, get to the point where you can quite confidently guess where you're pointing your camera and what you're filming and how far away you are, what's in your frame. So I'm not really missing the screen that at first I thought I was going to be missing a lot and it definitely helps in handing the camera, not having a large screen on it um, and having it in this tube shaped form definitely makes it very very convenient and very easy to use. Reason number four why the Paralens underwater action camera is a fantastic little companion for every diver out there is because even though it is a tiny little camera it doesn't look like it but it does produce some amazing footage. I'm not saying that this camera can compete with larger professional style rigs, but for the size of it and for what you're paying for a camera like this, it does produce some really, really nice footage that is absolutely usable. Now, have a look at this. These are two clips that I've taken on my last assignment in Bonaire. The left one has been taken with my GH5S in the Naughty Cam housing and the right one has been taken with the Paralens Underwater Action Camera Plus. And if we look at the clips as they are um, ungraded, just out of the camera, you can definitely see that the Paralens um, footage looks a lot more saturated, that there's a lot more contrast, a lot more color in there. 
it's also got to do with me pushing down on the contrast and the saturation in the setting on the GH5S because I was actually doing some post-production and some color grading on that footage later on for my client. So looking at the raw footage just out of the camera, yes, you see differences between the GH5S and the Paralens Underwater Action Camera Plus. Of course, I would have been very surprised if that wasn't the case, but all in all, I think that both those clips are usable. Now the situation changes a little once we start using color correction. We can obviously do a lot more on the clip that we've taken with the GH5S. We can play a lot more with our parameters there with color correcting that clip um, than what we were able to do on the Paralens clip. But nevertheless, the Paralens clips look most of the time they look fine just coming out of the camera and it's also got to do with their DCC, their um, automatic color correction that they apply depending on whatever depth you are and that's basically one of their biggest selling points that they've got a system that no other action camera has, um, at least not at this point, where depending on what depth you are it will then use a electronic filter to put some more red into your footage or some more orange or whatever it is to make the picture look more natural and more what you're actually seeing as you're going through your dive. So what does that mean? It basically means that whatever you get out of your camera, straight out of your camera, is going to be fairly close to what you're seeing underwater. And this is great if you're not someone who wants to spend a lot of time grading your underwater footage, which if you've done that before, you know how much time that can take up and how tedious it can be to correct all those clips. So if you're someone who uh, goes on a vacation, just wants to snap around a little bit, take some shots underwater, take them afterwards, put them in a little clip together, but doesn't want to spend too much time color correcting and spending a lot of time um, tweaking the footage, then this is fantastic and will save you a lot of time. And let's be honest, where are you going to show that footage? It's probably going to end up either on Instagram, on Facebook or on YouTube. And with the compression that we get on all these systems, um, whatever you're going to get out of here is going to be good enough in that sense. I've even come so far to take the Paralens underwater camera with me when I'm professionally on an assignment and I'm uh, shooting underwater footage for a client. I have this on my rig or with me at least um, as, a, as a B cam, as a second cam if I want to capture something that I might not be able to capture with my larger rig because I have to stick my camera somewhere into a little crevice to get uh, the shot that I desire then this will work, the larger rig won't and the quality for me still acceptable, not for everything. Sometimes you can see that it's oversaturated, sometimes the exposure is not correct. And those are things that are difficult to change on a compact camera, which doesn't really give you a lot of manual control. But because it's so small, it doesn't hurt me to just put it in my VCD pocket, have it with me all the time. And if the need arises, I have it there, I can use it and it's very simple and easy. And last but not least, we have reason number five why I think so highly of the Paralens Underwater Action Camera Plus and that's because of all the accessories that you can get um, in addition to the camera. Now Paralens have really put some thought into um, how people are going to be using that camera. Now what they've done, they've created a whole lot of different accessories that you can use with the camera. There is like a, a selfie stick that you can use that you can put your camera on. So you can use that selfie stick to film yourself while being underwater, which is great. You can just hold it, film yourself like that. But there's also a mechanism to attach it to your BCD, to like a D-ring on your BCD. And then you attach some small floats onto the side of your Paralens camera. And what this will do, it will actually keep the camera neutrally buoyant or just slightly positively buoyant which means that once you've got this attached to your BCD and you have the camera and the float on the camera, um, you just need to make sure that you position the camera in the right way and then you can go off for a dive and have the camera film you from like a third person's view. Um, and that's actually quite fascinating. Um, that's something that 
you don't really see a lot in underwater filmmaking um, and uh, it's just a new perspective and quite interesting to experiment with that a little bit. I've had some time in Bonaire in November last year to do a few tests with it and um, I was positively surprised, I have to say. I did quite like it. Um, I do think it's more applicable for free diving than it is for normal scuba diving, simply because if you're diving very slowly, what I do when I'm with my larger rig and I'm actually filming underwater, then the camera will, like, there won't be any tension on that cord and um, on the camera itself to the diver so it will sometimes it will lose its focal point it will drift off and you won't be in the picture anymore that can happen every now and then um, and that obviously won't happen when you're free diving and you're going down quite quickly there's always going to be some tension on that extension and therefore the camera should be pointed towards where you want to have it all the time um, but nevertheless I think it's a great little addition to the Paralens underwater camera system. You also have like a mask mount, so you can mount the camera on the side of your mask, on the mask strap, and have like a POV perspective with the camera when you're going through your dive. Personally, I'm not a big fan of it, um, but simply because I don't like having stuff hanging off my mask. I don't like having a snorkel on my mask, I hate it actually, and so I don't really like having a camera sitting on the side of my head. But that's just a personal thing, that's my personal opinion. I've seen great footage taken by people having the camera um, mounted onto their mask strap. Um, but knowing that you have that possibility, you have that option to place it there as well, why not? It's a great little addition to the entire system. And that's already it guys, those are the five points, the five reasons why I personally think that the Paralamps Underwater Action Camera Plus really is worth every single penny. It's a great system, it's compact, it's sturdy, it's easy to use, produces good quality and has a lot of accessories that you can, um, that you can use with the camera and make it more to your liking. As I said earlier on, personally, I think that every diver should have a camera like that in their BCD pockets, whether they use it or not. You can just have it in your BCD pocket throughout your entire um, diving vacation and if on any of the dives you come across something that is worthwhile being filmed, you pull it out, you turn it on, bang, you're good to go. Very, very easy and simple. and. I think that the Paralens guys have done an amazing job creating this camera and I highly recommend this camera to everyone who wants to get into underwater filming but doesn't want to take a huge rig, professional or semi-professional rig with them underwater. Well if this video was helpful to you guys, if you've got something out of it then please do hit that like button, it does mean a lot to me, also consider subscribing to my channel and pushing that notification bell so you get notified whenever I upload my next videos. Should there be any questions regarding the Paralens Underwater Camera, please feel free to um, write them down in the comment section and I'll make sure to get back to you as quickly as possible. If this video has motivated you to get yourself a Paralens Underwater Action Camera Plus, please feel free to use the affiliate link that I'll place down in the description. It's not gonna make the camera any more expensive for you, but it will give me a little kickback on your purchase so that I can keep financing this channel and keep producing more content just like this. So thank you very much for watching guys and I think I'll go for a dive now. See you next week.